tennis minutes. I happen to be sitting in a chair right now, and I'm going to be practicing with a fan and uh, take my, one of my old tennis rackets I have, one of my old blades, a 98 blade, and I'm going to practice, you know, just uh, uh, turning, uh, putting, I put all these uh, towels in the fan, and I'm going to practice my serve. I'm going to practice strength in my shoulder arms. Uh, one of the things that I'm doing right now is I'm keeping my head up. That's an interesting thing that uh, uh, important in factor that when you're serving is you want to keep your head up. And so here I'm practicing. I'm sitting in a chair. Uh, a lot of times when you watch younger players play, uh, that they're they're not they're hitting down on the ball and they're not really hitting up on the ball. And they need to learn how to hit up on the ball real very very early. And uh, it's like watching a quarterback uh, throw a long pass. And you have that trophy position. Some people make light of trophy position. I think it's a, a good tip to give people, keeping your head up, uh, getting the trophy position, putting the ball in front. I think there's a guy named Chip Brooks that, Brooks that talks about putting the ball up in front of you, uh, getting the trophy position, always keeping your head up. And so he gives us three tips and they're very, very helpful. Here I'm using a fan and uh, the idea is to practice at home, finding ways to practice at home. I'm in Wisconsin, it's snowy, uh, uh, it's kind of wet outside. It's, uh, I mean, you have to really be a tennis enthusiast or a tennis nut to play outside and to shovel off the, the uh, courts and, and play tennis. And sometimes you, we've had some nice days this year uh, that I, I remember at Christmas Day I actually played uh, tennis in Wisconsin. That's wild. And, uh, and so here I'm practicing. And so if you're going to practice, you're going to become better at tennis in Wisconsin, you're going to have to be able to practice at home. You can't always be running to the club unless you have uh, unlimited resources to be able to take lessons and, and play in a tennis court. So you're going to have to find ways to practice at home. And here I'm just giving you suggestions. Here's a good way to practice your serve. If you do anything that I suggest, please be careful. Uh, maybe get permission. Uh, Mom might not let you do this. But uh, since I'd have to replace the fan, Dad has to replace the fan, I guess I can do that, okay? But uh, here I'm practicing. I'm sitting in a chair. My goal is to keep my head up and just push the towels as they go by. And so I'm practicing. And, uh, of course, I'm not going to hit too hard. I want to have more control inside the house so I don't break anything. I hope this is helpful. And so I'm sitting down. I'm practicing keeping my head up, okay? And I'm practicing. Uh, whatever I do right-handed... I'm also going to do left-handed. That's another thing that I like to emphasize teaching because it actually helps you. It helps you strengthen both sides of your body, and then you're not going to have as frequent injuries. You are going to have some injuries if you play a lot of tennis or any sports, so you're going to have to know how to treat those injuries, and you're going to know how to uh, play the opposite hand to be able to balance and get strength uh, in, your, in your body. And so uh, just a tennis tip. If I can help you in any way, please contact me. Um, uh, via email or whatever in the future. I'll give you my email if you like it subscribe and give me a thumbs up uh, Just a practice tip practicing at home tennis in Wisconsin